and that is this. Now, we've known for a little while that there is a new Rambo movie coming, Last Blood. They dropped their first teaser for it a, a little while ago. Personally, for what this movie is, I thought it was a borderline perfect. I, I thought it was a borderline perfect first <clears throat> teaser for something called Last Blood. Well, today... A new trailer for Last Blood aired, although uh, right now I don't know if you can find the full frame version of it. What what happened was Sylvester Stallone took the full, you know, widescreen version of the trailer and just chopped off the ends to put it in an Instagram video <laughs> and put that up. But hey, that's what we had to see. Um, we watched it. I prefer the first trailer, to be honest with you. This one is meant to be more of a green band trailer. I still laid it up. I still laid it up. And I really like the way the trailer begins with the, you know, the Colonel, his buddy from the first, first Colonel blood Troutman. Movie. Colonel Troutman, thank you. The first uh, Rambo movie, the lines in there. I like near the end when he's going in for the stabbing motion and they cut back and forth between him in one of the earlier movies. And now I thought that was kind of clever. They gave us a little bit of better of an idea of the story itself. So while I did not like it as much as the first one, I still got to say I enjoyed it, and I'm, I'm really looking forward to seeing this movie. Anyway, Rob, you had a chance to see it. What did you think about it? Well, I mean, I, look, I've loved Rambo since I saw First Blood <clears throat> all those years ago. I'm a huge fan. This trailer, I mean, if we're going to review trailers, like you said, I love that first trailer that dropped, the Red Band trailer. But this trailer, you know, it, they kept intercutting from from Rambo from back in the day right. doing the same motions that he's doing in this movie with the arrows and the knives. I'm like, I get it. You know, I, I get it. I'm like, you don't you don't need to remind me of what Sylvester Stallone looked like 35 years ago when he was playing Rambo then. I like grizzled old heroes that come back. Give me Unforgiven. You've already sold me on this movie. I wanted to feel that I learned more about the story, but look, this is a small nitpick. I can't wait to see this movie. I can't wait to see Stallone just eviscerate dudes. <laughs> you know, when they did Rambo, the the fourth Rambo, right? I could not believe how awesomely bloody that movie was. He killed dudes in, in, in the best ways. I had so much fun <clears throat> watching that movie. I'm getting all excited. I, I hope he does the same thing in this movie. And and we're no longer in the jungle. We're sort of in the dusty southwest. Maybe the, I know there's Mexican drug cartels. I love my Mexican drug cartels. I think they make the best <laughs> villains. I, they're, 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 you can have, have handsome, charismatic dudes that are really rich that also kill other dudes. I like that. I think <laughs> that seeing Rambo against drug cartels, it's a match made in action film heaven, John. Aaron, uh, you had a chance to watch this trailer this I morning. Did. What did you think about it? You know, I loved it. I thought it was fantastic. And I will say, I liked the um, inner cutting of the younger version of Rambo. I liked it because for a, a new a newer audience who maybe didn't see <clears throat> the original version all those years ago, this is a way of showing, hey, this is somebody that has stood the test of time. This is a character that you can not only watch this movie and see this story, but you can also go back and see the genesis of the story. And I also say, you know what? Good for Sylvester Stallone. This is a guy who could not get arrested in Hollywood and said, you you know what? Screw you guys. I'm going to make my own movies and just wrote his own ticket to Hollywood yep. and continues. He knows what his audience wants to see him doing. He's not trying to do interview with a vampire. He's like, my audience wants to see Rocky. They want to see Rambo. I'm going to give it to them. And also kudos to him. He looks really good. Like this is a oh, guy it's that stupid. it's in, absolutely stupid. in the world of Mickey Rourke's. I mean, God bless his soul. I mean, I know he's not dead, but my, look at him. In the world of Mickey Rourke's, the fact that we have a Sylvester Stallone who is able to age in the way that he has, and yeah, he looks grizzled, but he looks like he's aged in a way that a human should. I like that. I like when my movie stars actually age. And I love the fact that he also is not afraid of saying, here's what I look like 30 years ago, here's what I look like now. 30 well, years ago, that's now. That's true. If I had more muscles than I did 35 years ago, I'd put a lot of those comparison pictures up too. Because he's just, I mean, it's crazy the guy his age. He's, he's, he is in his 70s now. Yes. And wow. He, he will still pop up his workout videos. And it's mm -hmm. like, this is just stupid. I mean, he this lives is, on a different level. He, like, he lives on like a Tony Robbins jumping into... <laughs> 
freezing cold water every morning level. But you know what we forget? There was there was a period of time there, and we forget about it. Much like we forget about Robert Downey Jr., there was a, a long period of time when he was like persona non grata in Hollywood. There was a period of time you know, in the, you know, stop where my mom will shoot. And there was, there was a, there was a period of time when Stallone's star had faded. Let's say that. Sure. And then it kind of felt like he came back and I can't remember which came first, Rob, you will be able to tell me this. I can't remember if Balboa came first or that last Rambo movie. Uh, but regardless, he came back to the franchises that made him what he was he got real gritty with that last Rambo movie. Yeah, you know, it was great. You bring guns? No, then you ain't changing nothing. Like that, like, that was that was amazing. And then he did Balboa, which I think is one of the best Rocky movies. I completely adore and love that film. And then you know he he does Creed. He gets an Academy Award nomination not long ago, and now he's coming back <laughs> with with Last Blood, which you know supposed to be a play on this is the last one. I'll believe that when I see it. Um, but. I'm excited about this. I like the trailer. Guys, the question is, what did you think about this new Rambo Last Blood trailer? Jump down into the comments section below and let us know your thoughts. Okay.